So it has been announced several hours ago that Henkaku, the kernel exploit that allows for PlayStation Vita homebrews, will now allow plugins to overclock the GPU of the PlayStation Vita. The potential of this service is an amazing thought. Take a look at Borderlands Vita running on the new function. It now runs at a stable damn near locked 30 FPS, which is fantastic when compared to the spotty vanilla release which floats under 25 FPS. Users so far are reporting positive feedback on the feature, confirming that the GPU overclocking on the PlayStation Vita improves the experience in some official games in numerous of ways, especially lag. Of course, overclocking your PlayStation Vita will drain battery faster and will heat your system up a bit, so it's advised to use this at your own risk. You would need to be running on PlayStation Vita firmware 3.6, and if you want more information on that matter, link in the description. This has been PlayStation News, and keep on gaming.